Bonjour, hello. On change uh, le décor. We're changing uh, places today. You're in my office in Montreal. I had uh, lots to do today. I've been in quarantine for almost, uh, well now, not almost, 11 days without going out. Hi. And it's been quite crazy in a good way. Well, in a good way, in the best way it can. Let's put it this way. Um, now I'm like in my little apartment in Montreal trying to find stuff that would cheer me up. And I don't know about you guys, but everything I pick up, well, then the beer is fine. It's not too bad. 2021, well, this is perfect. But my, my, well, this, you know, I was eating it and it tasted like dirt. So I didn't know it could be bad. I think it's been bad for a year. My mayonnaise was bad for two years now. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know about you guys, but I'm eating up all the old stuff. So cheers to you. Mm. So today um, we're doing a flash course on Pinot Grigio. Uh, Pinot Grigio, which is uh, a very cool product for me. Um, why am I saying that? By being a sommelier, you always need to do like pairing, wine pairing. And when you go somewhere, uh, you never know what the other person will cook. Well, quite often. Or if you do like, usually I host big events, events with 100, 500 people sometimes. And you have to please the palate of every single person. So Pinot Grigio is a sure bet. Um, if I do a little overview about Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio, uh, you have two styles. You, you're going to have the Pinot Gris style, which is a clone. Huh? Basically, it's like a, uh, something coming from the Pinot Noir that came up on Pinot Gris. It's not a white, white grape. Uh, the grape is like a bit pinkish. The skin is a bit pinkish. Uh, it's lower in acidity. And it's very good because it's, it can create... Great, great food pairing, basically. Um, bonjour. <clears throat> It's always like very slow uh, for Facebook to come up. Pega et là, Jonathan, Sebastian, Julie, Gab, salut. Uh, hi, everyone. Charles. So I'm going to do one in French at six. Now it's just like a five, ten minutes really quickly on Pinot Grigio. Since I have so many friends uh, around the world that are in quarantine as well, <clears throat> I was looking at the face of one of my good friends in Australia shutting down his business. You know, it's like the domino effect. Uh, we're all going through the same path, but not at the same time. So I have a lot of empathy for everyone out there. Uh, congrats to Nicolas Duvernois that just, uh, and my friends, Distillery La Chaufferie in Granby, uh, that decided to do uh, like Purel uh, instead of uh, vodka. What a great idea. Um, and all of my friends that are cooking for others, it's super. And all of you guys that are working from home, Teaching your kids, so I don't know about you, but I'm a, it's supposedly that I'm a bad teacher. <laughs> We did so many stuff. You know, like the bad part is that you're doing the math, for instance, and then it's, you have to review the answer and then you don't know yourself the answer. This is quite crappy. So let's drink. Uh, Pinot Grigio, two things you need to know. <clears throat> Pinot Gris, Pinot Grigio, same grape. Uh, coming from, you know, it's something different than Pinot Noir, but in, within the same family, a bit pinkish for the skin. Pinot Gris in the Alsace area, Germanic area, like German, yes. Do a little heart or a little something or like the page or share. Uh, so more and more Anglo uh, will be part of this. At six o'clock, if you speak French, it's going to be at six o'clock and we're going to play the game. I'm not playing in English because I don't have the, the stuff in English yet, but it's coming up. All right, um, we're almost done with all the collection of Bu. And after that, we're going to move towards one day of coffee. Because for some of you uh, that doesn't know, I have my brand of coffee with Café Barista, signature Jessica, which is the best in the world. Not because I make it, because Café Barista makes the best coffee in the entire world. Salut! And uh, for the wine game, it's coming up this year. We're working on Mystery Wine, the English version, and Mystery Beer. So, huh? what a better time to create right now being in quarantine. So for those of you who like beer, like I do, well then perfect. Uh, we're going to have plenty of fun with that. So Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, when you're in Alsace, for instance, or Germany, okay, uh, it's going to be lower in acidity uh, and you're going to have like a little bit more sugar, residual sugar. When you have sugar, I'm just going to show you, even though it's in French, it doesn't matter. It is called fruity and sweet. And as soon as you have like acidity, and sugar. Think of a spicy dish. This is the perfect match or something with beets, for instance. Okay. And when you have Pinot Grigio from the Italian region up north, 
Um, this one come from Venezia, okay? The Venice area where there's nobody around right now like the rest of the world. Unfortunately, I drink for all of my Italian friends right now. Um, Pinot Grigio, what's fun? It's that it's very versatile. You can eat pretty much anything with it. Fish, white fish, very delicate. Um, you can have pasta. You can really have like vegetarian dish with Pinot Grigio or just like this. Okay, so five to seven happy hours. Uh, drink a glass on it on its own. It's gonna be perfect. Um, we're gonna taste the different three different steps. T'as ton café, ça va coûter encore des sous. <laughs> Uh, the coffee is not quite well. It's a bit more expensive because it's very good quality. You can purchase it at Cafe Barista online. They deliver. And you can also have like a calendar of delivery. I think you receive like a bag a week or something like that. Mine is 30% off right now. I saw that going through. So Cafe Barista.com or .ca. Uh, and you go in the signature coffee, and mine, it's Jessica, Jessica Arnois. Uh, Côté des artisans, hi everyone, Richard, merci, j'en apprends sur le vin, j'améliore mon anglais, <laughs> that's perfect. Uh, in English, it's a bit different, I've been, uh, I was rusty for a bit, because I was tasting, you know, always in French, but then it's coming very quickly, and the English language is perfect when you taste, because it's to the point, and it's very mathematical, what they're going to do, the tasting grid is really med which is the center, okay, med plus when it's higher or med low, lower. So if you look at it, of course, I'm not holding my glass like this. I'm looking at what we call in French la robe, which is the color of the wine, okay? And we're always looking to see two things. Is it old? If it's old, the color should be changing on the side, okay? It should be very like orangey, just like honey. And for instance, this one has no color change, so you know it's going to be in its youth. When a wine is young, it should have fruits. And always before smelling it or tasting it, mention three fruits that are the same color as this one. So if it's young, let's say it's a young lady, okay? Is it like very powerful, very big or very thin? So this is not the heaviest in color you've seen. It is not golden, okay? When it's gold, usually it has touch wood. Now it's quite pale. So when it's pale, it's pear, okay, green apple and lime, something about both greenish. So when we are in the green category right here, it's not yellow like a yellow citrus, okay? It's very greenish, very pale, just almost like water. Once you saw and you looked at the color, you swirl it around and you want it for two things. So when you swirl it, just like a little O, zero, okay? There's not a lot of people right now, huh? Uh, it's quite, people are still uh, trying to handle everything that's happening right now. But what's fun is that you can see it again on Jessica Arnois Sommelier, which is my professional page. I will uh, write it down. Um, and if you have friends, just share and ask them to come over. It's going to be fun. So once you look at the color, you look at what we call the leg. Oh, my glass is very gross and dirty. <laughs> um, so I don't have any sugar. The sugar content, it's below 3 grams per sugar. I think it's 2.7 even below. So there's no sugar, so it doesn't, you know, like stick on the glass. So, and it's quite low in alcohol. This one is 12% of alcohol. To the nose, mm, it's very subtle. It tastes, okay? It smells what it tastes like, like a pear, very delicate, like a green apple, very subtle, a bit flowery, when it smells good and you, you're trying to find the right name for it, it's going to be fruity, there's no wood, okay? The wood, the color was not gold, so usually there's no wood in it. And it's very on the fruit, very light, very crisp, very fresh to the nose. So when it smells good and you don't know what to say, you're going to say mineral, mineral just like Pellegrino, for instance, like a mineral water, vegetal, okay? It can be like a green asparagus, for instance, or floral. In this case, Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. Um, Pinot Gris, when it's more sweet, it's going to be more exotic, like exotic fruit. This is very on the pear side and very mineral, very fresh. And when you put it in your mouth, mm, 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 I don't know if I'm, it would be good with my bad crackers. Mm, this is very good. Thanks, François. Thank you. Um, when you taste it, you see and you hear me. In French, we say sepi. When it's very acidic, okay, you have lots of acidity. Uh, it's like eating like a pear, but that's quite crisp, not mature enough. 
It's good because it's vibrant. It's not super extra vibrant like a citrus. So it's still subtle, but quite bright. Okay. So you can pair it with like a green salad. Anything that's vegetarian is perfect. Curry would work because it's spicy. You don't have any sugar in this one, but it will stay mellow. Uh, any fish, obviously, like shrimp, fish, lobster, anything we don't have in quarantine that we would love to have in our freezer, for instance, <laughs> instead of bag crackers. So things to remember with Pinot, Pinot Gris in Alsace, all the Germanic place, German, okay, usually lower acidity, more on that sort of uh, fruity part and more residual sugar. Pinot Grigio, it's what we call in French a passe-partout, something you can put basically with anything, very easy, food-friendly to pair, low acidity, tastes like a pear, good acidity, but not too much, so it will please even your grandma, your father, yourself, and your kids that are 18 years old and plus. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be live at 6. Okay, we're going to play the game Mystery Wine. And for those who want to chit-chat with single people out there, it's in French, but they still speak English, I'm sure. It's called Rencontre Sportive. And the little uh, password to chit-chat for free tonight will be Pinot Grigio in one word. So Pinot Grigio. Thanks for watching. See you at 6. Bye. <laughs>